Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Mel and I am a disciple, I'm married, I work full time as a structural engineer here in Colorado. I also am going back to school to get my master's degree. So that's the gist of things. It is Monday, September 29th and I am about to head out the door for work. This necklace is from Mint and Lily, you guys saw it a couple vlogs ago. This blazer is just second hand, it was a gift. This bodysuit, that you can't see because of the blazer is from Express. Belt is from Target. Pants are from Express and then loafers are from Express as well. I need to get some new ones. I failed to meal prep yesterday so I'm gonna have to go out for lunch but I think we're all packed up. We're good to go so I'm gonna head out the door. It's almost 7 and I just got home. Well, I got home at 6.45, but I just changed into some more comfortable clothes. Work today was, uh, it was kind of long to be honest. <laughs> I worked nine and a half hours today. The site visit that I normally have scheduled for Wednesdays got canceled, so that's good because honestly that gives me more time to focus on this other project that I'm going to be working on pretty much all week. It's a cold form project, which is interesting. Cold form steel is a whole other ball game. Um, it's technically, we're doing um, cold form steel shop drawings. So and this is my first time doing it in depth, detailed for an entire building. So it's been a learning curve. You guys, I ordered a microphone that I can plug into my phone just for better sound quality from Rode directly from them over two weeks ago and I still have not received it. Every time I check the tracking number, it says that it's just sitting at the FedEx location. It's, I mean, it says that they've, it's in a pre-shipment something. You wanted to come inside, dude. Why do you want to go outside so bad? Do you need a pee? I think that was pretty rash of me to say I'm never buying anything off of Amazon again. Um, yeah, so tomorrow for class we have our exam review and then Thursday is the first exam of the semester, which Alex is gonna be home literally any second, so I'm gonna try to finish my homework before he gets home. Probably won't happen. I guess I will see you guys in the morning. grocery haul before I hop back on to work. I ordered some more crackers for snacking. Oops, oh my gosh. These are my favorite. And then I got a big old pack of these for Alex because these are his favorite. I got some more treats for the dogs, some more granola bars as well as these ones. I got another box of hair dye. Got some more eggs. These are primarily for Logan. I got a bag of salt and vinegar chips because I've been craving these. Got another box of the almond honey bunches of oats cereal because we're almost out. Got another thing of milk. Five pounds of sweet potatoes for the dogs. More broccoli also primarily for the dogs. This will be for dinner tonight. I just wanted something quick, simple, easy, just throw in a pot. <laughs> primarily just because I haven't defrosted any chicken yet. So I just ate maybe like two thirds of this bag of chips. I have a phone call at 6.30 and then a Zoom meeting, which is basically just D time, and then um, D time on Zoom with um, the person that I disciple at 7.30. Don't know when I'm gonna find time to make my 
equation sheet for the exam on Thursday because tomorrow night we have midweek so on the bright side it's the first day of October how exciting is that because I wanted to come back to my main channel with like a huge haul like a Halloween haul you know like oh it's October it's our month you guys let's go here's an exciting new video for me coming back or whatever but that's clearly not gonna happen because we have an expensive high maintenance dog and oh speaking of the dogs i made an appointment for natalie on friday at 1 30 p.m in the middle of the work day it's just like right after my lunch break so i'm just gonna what is that even gonna like work out i need to put that in my oh my gosh um Oh my god, in my calendar. Okay, so her appointment's at 1.30. Well, we're just gonna have to make the time, regardless of when that time is, where it falls, all of that. We're just gonna have to make the time because we have no other option. Well, I guess we do have other options. We could like fail everything, but I hate failure. So uh, I have about one and a half to two hours left of work to do and then <clears throat> like i said i have that call at 6 30 i have a zoom meeting at 7 30. thank god i got that pot roast that you guys saw so i can just throw it in a pot and move on with my life get things done <laughs> um this is what happens when you don't meal prep although i will say i have the best husband in the world he cooked he's cooked two hello fresh meals this week for dinner while i've been busy with other things so I'm grateful for that without me asking because I, I just I just don't see it as like an issue in my head. I'm like, oh, I'll cook the HelloFresh meal when I get around to it. You know, I just have to I have to do this admin stuff for the church. I have to finish my homework, you know, like it's not that I can't do it and it's not that I won't do it. I just can't do it right this second. Um, so I'm grateful that he just kind of took the reins on that. Anyway, I suppose that's acceptable. I wanted to work a full eight hours today. But I should have known better than to think that that <laughs> would work. That's the plan. It's exam day. I am so nervous. <laughs> um, I'm leaving the house like 15 minutes, not 15, oh my gosh, 30 minutes later than I'm technically supposed to because I spent way too long making the stupid formula sheet. <laughs> I honestly should have taken today off. Um, that would have been the smart thing to do, but look at me go. <sighs> my formula sheet. I'm feeling relatively confident i guess i don't know that's that actually that's not true i'm 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 nervous she wants us to use very specific calculators so i had to buy a new calculator so i got that um i have a bunch of pencils i need an eraser it'll be okay it'll be okay <laughs> been so stressed that your brain feels like static that is what i'm going through right now <laughs> first of all this exam it was only three questions all right i could have done better 100 percent could have done better i did not manage my time well at all i spent 45 minutes on the first problem and i didn't even finish it it's cut i was like i know i know how to do this like i know i can figure this out i just know i can't i just couldn't in the amount of time I had and here's the problem like I, I know I have a habit of overcomplicating things so I'm like am I overcomplicating it am I not I don't know I probably am because it seems so simple so then why can't I figure it out 
that's how that went. And I spent the majority, I, the, I only answered one out of the three questions completely. And so for the second one, I just kind of did as much as I could. I kind of wrote down like, here's what I would do. Like, here's what I would do, you know, like if I had more time, but that was just terrible. Well, actually, it could have gone worse. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say on the low end, I'm I'm probably gonna get a D. I don't think I'll get an F, at least I hope not. Watch me get an F now because I said that. Looking on the bright side, I was gonna say B, but honestly maybe just like a C. <laughs> just because I didn't finish, like I just I could have written more too. Like here's the steps I would take. Like I know, I know what to do. I'm just like I couldn't I don't know why. I, I struggled. I was like what why can't I figure out why why have I suddenly forgotten how to get how to take the derivative of something in a square root like I like whatever anyway and then on top of all of that so you guys know I'm the admin for our church I'm the admin for our church even though I have no clue what I'm doing and when it comes to taxes and apparently we need liability insurance and apparently it's a pain in the butt to get it kept it was like playing telephone like I would call one insurance company, they would send me to another because they're like, oh, we don't do that. Or like, oh, we can't help with your particular situation or whatever. And it was just frustrating. And then I also tried, I went to a FedEx location to see if I could get my stupid package. FedEx said, we can't help you call customer service because it's probably at like a warehouse or something. USPS says, we can't help you because we're waiting on FedEx to send it to us. And I can't get a hold of a human being, dude. <laughs> I called this stupid FedEx number and I could not get a hold of, I even Googled how to get a hold of a human being on FedEx or on, on the phone on for FedEx or something like that. And I did what people suggested and that didn't work. And I'm like, you know what? Keep the microphone. I do not need it that bad. Um, so that's the last time I order anything to be shipped to me via FedEx. And I'm not gonna, you know, complain to Road about it because it's not their fault. They sent it in a timely manner. They shipped it according to the option that I selected. I just didn't know that getting stuff from FedEx would be an issue, like this big of an issue. So I'm like, because to me it looks like FedEx is just sitting on it. USPS is waiting for it. I mean, that makes sense that there's nothing they can do about it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-ish submittals to review, one RFI to look at and respond to. I just finished editing some title blocks and stuff and I need, actually I need to, I need to send those off. Okay, hang on. Oh shoot, you guys, I need... <laughs> um, I forgot, I also need to make cookies for Bible Talk tonight because... Because... I had to watch a webinar or whatever and it was about quality assurance, QA in the workplace or whatever as but like specifically for structural engineers and the guy gave the example of oh, i can't remember what the building was called or what the project was called but basically because there was no qa program no one like checked detailing and calculations for this particular thing you can look it up basically a hangar connection mechanism whatever failed in a building and it killed a hundred and something 144 45 people point is lives are at risk <laughs> and I'm like if mistakes aren't caught and like me being where I'm at I'm only a design engineer too so I have the security of knowing that at least two other people above me who have more experience than me are gonna check my work but that won't always be the case. One day I'm going to be where they're at and I'm going to be the one who either stamps something or says, yes, this is okay and may or may not miss something. Like I understand human error, but like doesn't make it okay for wives to be lost or like, I, I don't know how to say what I'm thinking, but all right, I'm going to wrap up work, do whatever I can with what little brain power I have in this one hour, make those cookies and then we will go from there. Hopefully tomorrow will be 
Oh, and then on top of everything, I did not share my faith. I haven't shared my faith at all this week. So I'm just I'm just doing great today, this week. It's It's been great, but it's fine. Anyway, that's the plan. like majority of this vlog has just been me in this position um you get you guys saw i took natalie to the vet okay i took her to get her one of her vaccinations or something like that um and it was only 80 bucks which is much better than 150 300 so <laughs> let me go over my to-do list that'll make me feel a little better um so I have shower because yes i need to put showering on my to-do list now that's where i'm at including wash wash my hair which also means i well i need to touch up my roots i don't know if you can tell but so i have that on here as well as blow drying my hair because it's a whole process okay i have four hello fresh meals that i need to cook i need to clean the kitchen i need to clean the bathroom because i haven't cleaned either of those in like two weeks i need to vacuum and mop like not just up here with the little vacuum robot i also need to vacuum the stairs as well and the little entryway that we have the landing i need to finish my dad's birthday present because Yes, his birthday was last month and I still haven't finished that. Um, I need to do laundry, I need to do dishes. I do consider dishes to be separate from cleaning the kitchen. Don't ask me why, they're, ju they're just like, one's one thing, the other is something else. I need to edit two vlogs. I need to figure out this whole liability insurance thing for our church. I need to watch video lectures and take two quizzes that are due next week for class. And then I need to order prints of the Bible talk flyer that I made. That's all the things that need to get done slash like really would like to get done. It, and this was one of those weeks, last week was like this too, where it felt like I worked more than 40 hours. Do you guys ever feel that? I don't know if you guys work full time as well, but why does a nine to five feel like more than just nine to five? Is there like a fall leaf emoji, like a red leaf or orange leaf or something like that, or leaves? If so, leave those down in the comments below because I would love to see them because I haven't spent any time outside. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.